I don't think 2007 was a was a tough market. Uh, 2008, people talk about being tough, but um, you know, I think you can talk yourself into doom and gloom. I think it's the attitude and the way that you approach the, the business. There's always something different, something new that you can do. And it's a matter of, I believe, knowing your competitors and what their strengths and weaknesses are and just trying to be a bit different. Not just um, different for difference's sake or being controversial, but we, we like to, to have a reputation that we stand for something and they don't get us mixed up with other, other retailers. So we have a wide range. Our biggest thing is having a very large selection of beds, um, competitive prices, but everyone says that. We have our promotions 50% off, that's all normal stuff. But the, the other thing is trying to think in the customer's way. So uh, look through their eyes, walk in their shoes, imagine what the actual customer would really want um, if they were going to go and buy some furniture or, in our case, buy a bed. And that's fine for Dreams, which has got strong like for likes and is set to open another 50 stores in 2008. But other firms are slashing prices just to keep the top line ticking over. And there are firms who are beginning to wonder whether 2008 might just be their last year of trading. It's not all doom and gloom in the sense that I think any retailer that is very focused about customers and any retailer that knows what it's offering and offers that added value and point of difference can still gain. You can still take share from other people. There is still some growth in the market that you can attain. It's difficult, but it is there. And you only have to look at, for example, John Lewis's trading figures. And obviously they're very dominant in the homeware sector to understand that you know, good retailers can do well and can still prosper.